We now have all the pieces we need to create any irregular shape. The example in this lesson uses a general path object to append a collection of line segments into one very odd shape. I'm sure you already know how this is done. But here's the program. The general path object that is to hold the finally regular shape is stored in the variable named widget. All the constructor does is set the size of the window and call a method named make widget that creates the general path object. Here is the make widget method and at the top of the make widget method is a creation of the general path object which has its address stored here for convenience in a local reference. And here we start drawing the shape. The first segment of it is a straight line. The second part of the figure is a cubic curve object. This curve picks up where the line left off and is appended to the general path. Now it isn't absolutely necessary that the beginning of the curve match exactly with the end of the line because the close path method that will be called at the end would draw a line to connect them together into a shape anyway. Another cubic curve is added. This one goes across the bottom of the shape. Don't try to figure out what the shape is. It's odd and you're going to see it here in just a minute. And here's a new shape. This is an arc 2D object and it's used to define an open arc. As we saw in an earlier lesson, there are several ways to draw connecting lines to make an arc or complete polygon. But in this case, we only want a line segment so the arc is left open. To finish the figure, a call is made to close path to complete the shape. Now the segments drawn in this example were placed so each one started where the previous one left off, but they could have been drawn as separate segments and they would have been joined by straight lines with this call to close path. Finally, the new general path object is returned to its caller. All the paint method does is draw the figure to the screen. The final figure looks like this. And here you have a very odd shape made up of lines, curves, and arcs. The whole thing is connected together making a polygon that you can draw and fill. You can run it through an affine transform and scale it or stretch it out or anything else you'd like to do to it. You can use this to draw just about anything you want. I've used this technique in several programs. I once used it to draw a logo for a corporation. Of course, they rejected my design. No matter how flexible the tool you use, you still have to have an eye for this sort of stuff. Oh well. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you a completely different way to combine some shapes.